And get out. Come on, come on. The Oscar get out. goes to. Let's talk about the Oscars. The 2018 Oscars are this Sunday, and hell, the nominees ain't all white this year. Just take a look at some of the best picture nominees. You've got Call Me By Your Name, a gay coming out story that deals with forbidden love, Lady Bird, directed by a woman, Greta Gerwig, the fifth to be nominated ever, and Mexican director Guillermo del Toro behind The Shape of Water, repping the fifth nomination for a Latino. Another awesome flick was Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. It has a raw emotional streak running through the film led by actress Frances McDormand but has raised some controversy over what some see as a cheap redeeming of an utterly racist character played by the awesome Sam Rockwell. I ain't even gonna talk about The Darkest Hour cause, well, I don't give a shit about Winston Churchill. And then there's Get Out. Somehow this little indie comedic horror film filled with social commentary about the black experience inside a white world was nominated for Best Picture, Best Direction for Jordan Peele, and Best Actor for its then newcomer, now Black Panther star Daniel Kaluuya. And the film was made on a $4.5 million budget that's less than what it costs for one episode of Game of Thrones, and yet it went on to make $200 million worldwide. Plus all of the people of color nominated this year in big categories. Denzel Washington, Octavia Spencer, Mary J. Blige, Dee Reese, Virgil Williams, Rachel Morrison, Faraz, Fayad, Kareem Abid, Yance Ford, and Kumail Nanjiani. But this is why protest matters. If it wasn't for the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement in 2014 and the Oscars So White Online campaign in 2015, would we even have this kind of diversity? Would the Academy ever have changed its rules and welcome in both a younger and more diverse voting body? Or would we still be seeing Best Picture films dominated by the latest Scorsese flop? or stale biopics like The Darkest Hour, or The Iron Lady. In 2016, the Oscars So White campaign led Lupita Nyong'o, Ava DuVernay, Spike Lee, and Will Smith to boycott the Oscars after another year of all-white acting nominees. Then last year, Moonlight won Best Picture. Now, I'm not saying it won because of the Oscars So White campaign, but it was given the opportunity to be considered a great film alongside the usual Hollywood contenders. And that's precisely the point. Opportunity. It's about letting a film like Get Out or Lady Bird contend against the typical Oscar films that the Academy of All White Dudes thinks is the best thing ever but most moviegoers won't actually ever see. With the rise of the Me Too movement, I'm excited for the prospects of how these women will be able to alter the landscape of the industry in the coming years, where only a third of speaking roles are given to women, and behind the scenes where women make up less than a fifth of editors, writers, directors, and cinematographers with even less opportunity for women of color. But Oscars is less white and male this year, so let's embrace it and fight for more.